Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. How to manage virtual machine using vApp part 2. In part 1 of this lab, we had discussed about creating a vApp, powering on, powering off vApp, modifying vApp settings, and removing vApp. In part 2 of this lab, we will be discussing about deploying and exporting a vApp as an OVF template. So let's get started. Let's log into our vCenter server vcsa-01a.govmlab.local provide SSO username SSO password of our vCenter server click on login as you could see we are successfully logged into our vCenter server and these are our these are three tier application VMs so let's create a vApp first click on our ESXi host new vapp click on new vapp create a new vapp give a name to this vapp i'll give a name three tier hyphen vapp select the location where you want this vapp to be created click on next now this section is all about allocation of cpu and memory resources for our vapp so let's go with the default one click on next and that's where this is the review of our we have configuration click on finish and now you could see our vapp has created successfully as we discussed same thing we have discussed in the part one of this lab let's drag and drop our vms sorry so let just drag and drop your vms to a vapp and now as you could see all of the three vms have been successfully added to my Three tier VApp. Now to export this VApp as an OVF template, what you have to do is basically right click on your VApp, go to OVF template, and there is an option export OVF template. So click on export OVF template, give a name to this OVF template. So I'll give a name three tier VApp OVF template. Format would be folder of files. So this, this is our open virtualization format. So keep the format as default one. Annotation, you can just give it for your own reference, like what this vApp is all about. So I could give this vApp is containing CTR application servers, just for our own reference. Click on advanced option if you want to include BIOS UID or MAC addresses and some extra configuration as a part of your template. So you can always select enable advanced options. Click on OK. And now as you could see, the export OVF template has started. The process has started for exporting the entire VApp as an OVF template. And as you could see, the files are being downloaded. So you could see a file which get downloaded is vmdk3 tier app ovf.vmdk, the ovf file, and this is our vmdk file. So let's for a few minutes to get this operation completed. So now, as you could see, our export ovf template has completed successfully. Let's go to folder and let's see what all the files have been exported. So if you click the click on if you go to the folder, you could see that it has exported three VMDK files. So what these three VMDK files are all about? These three VMDK files are referring to our VMs VMDK. If you have so since we have three VMs, so we are having a corresponding three VMDK files. If you have a ten VMs, you will have a ten VM VMDK file. Each VMDK file is pointing out to the respective VM. Now, what this OVF file, as we discussed earlier, it is an XML file or it is a descriptor file which would be having information about our VApp. And this is our manifest file. So let's browse this file, XML file. And now, as you could see, here it shows all of the VMDK file information, what all the files have been included. 
in this OVF supported IP assignment schemes, logical network information. This is an annotation what we have mentioned during creation of this VApp. It is containing a three tier application. You could see this stop delay. It's taking the default one, which is 120 seconds. The stop delay. The operating system detail information. So you could see a lot of information in this particular OVF file. So we have learned like how do we export any OVF how do we export any VApp as an OVF template? Now, as you could see, the, the how the OVF is how this VApp is simplifying our job as IT admin. Instead, earlier, if you want to export each of your VM as an OVF template, you have to perform export OVF template three times. Whereas once we have started managing our VMs with the VApp, I have just triggered export OVF template operation once, which has subsequently has taken care of exporting each of my VMDK or each of my VM. Now, how do we now let's let's learn how do we deploy a new VApp from this existing template what we have created now. So what what we will do? We have created a VApp template here as you could, as you could see. Now what we will do? We'll try to deploy a VM from this template. And that will do on this vcenter2 esxi-038.govmlab.localhost. So right click on ESX host where you want to deploy OVF template. Just a second. Now, now for deploying VMs from OVF template, let's create a new VApp on our esx-01a host. Create a new VApp. Let's say I'll give a name new three tier VApp. Select your data center where you want to deploy. Let's go with the default CPU and memory allocation. Click on finish. And now, as you could see, I have created a new three tier VApp on my ESX 01A host of VCSA 01A vCenter server. Now, right click on this VApp, go to OVF template, and select the option Deploy OVF Template. Click on Local File because we have saved all of our OVF files in our local system. So that's why we have selected Local File. If you have deployed these files in some web server or FTP server, you can give the URL of that server as well. So click on Browse, select all of the files. Which was created during exporting the template. Now you can give a name. So let's go with the with the with this particular name itself. Click on next. And now it is asking us where you want to run the deploy template. So we want to run this deploy template on this particular VApp, what we have created on ESX 01A host. So select this template click on next now it is just validating all of the manifest file your description file and the vmdk's integrity once everything is validated a validation is succeeded as you could see the our validation succeeded and now the total v size on disk is 96 mb and this vapp is and this is the vapp which is going to be deployed so click on next Select the disk type as thin provision. Select the data store one. Click on next. Click on finish. Now, as you could see, it has started deploying that OVF, the deployment. And as you could see, the deployment has completed successfully. And if you click on this new 3D app, there's a new VF which has got created. And then there are three VMs which got deployed or created under that template. So as you could see, as you could see, we have created, we did not need to create each and every VM 
individually with the help of VApp. We just deployed the VApp from the OVF template and that take, taken care of subsequently deploying all of the VMs which is being managed by that VApp container. So this concludes our lab for creating, deploying and exporting a VApp as an OVF template. Thank you.